Okay guys, so I've got my advanced drape right here. You can see the drapes, the pleat. Uh, and I put this muslin over a bodice, a strapless bodice, so you can kind of see what kind of a top or a possible cocktail dress, what it would look like. So you could see it, because without the top underneath, it would be like, oh, she's missing something. All right, you got that? Now, before we put this onto the dotted paper to make the pattern, you have to do some markings. Now, in order to do the markings, you need a pencil. Number two pencil, all right? But for the purposes of the video, I'm gonna use a marker. But don't use a marker, because it marks up the dress form, unless you own the dress form. Got it? Okay, so are you ready? Let's go. The first marks you wanna do is in the shoulder, okay? So start at the shoulder, right at the shoulder tip, and start right at the top. And you wanna just make broken lines, just like this. Just go down the shoulder, there you go, just do the marks, and then when you get to the end of the shoulder, you wanna make a little cross mark, just like that. Now, here's the really important part, is you wanna make little cross marks where the drapes and the pleats, the folds, where they are. So watch, you do it like this. You go right here and right there, okay? You see that? So start there and then there, there, there there and there. You got it? It's very important that you do those marks, okay? Where the beginning and the end of the fold is, okay? Now, let's direct ourselves to the hips and the side seam in this end. Got it? Okay, so we're gonna go to the end, right here in this section, see? And then you're gonna do the marks here as well. So do the hips, so mark the hips and then mark the hips, go about an inch below, and then put a little cross mark like that. Now, once again, very important, you wanna do the marks where the folds are. You do one here, and then here. One there, and then here. One there, and then here. Now, let me show you how important that is. I'm gonna take the pin out so you guys can see. See? So that cross mark then kisses that cross mark, so it tells you when to fold it. Got it? Okay, now we're gonna do the hem. You want the hem to be fairly parallel to the bottom of the form, got it? And so I'm gonna draw it right now, see, watch. There you go, see? Just do a broken line, make sure it's semi-straight, and then you get to the side seam. Once you get to the side seam, draw the side seam. You can feel it out, you can really feel it out right here on the form. So just draw the side seam, broken line, get to the waist, Draw a little waist, then go up the side seam, keep going up, just like what I'm doing. Go up the side seam. Now when you get to the arm plate, make a mark. Now the arm plate, I'm gonna show you right now. See, hi, arm plate, right there. That's the bottom of the arm plate. What you wanna do is you wanna mark that, but then you wanna go one inch below the arm plate and mark that, okay? And now you're gonna do the armhole. The armhole, it's this curve right here. It kinda looks like a C, all right? You ready? So then, Mark the armhole with a little broken line, just like that. Keep going, keep going, keep going until you get to the top. And once you make sure you have all your markings, that's it. You're ready to make the pattern. Thank you for watching Fashion School with Nick Varios. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And leave your comments below. Now if you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see, leave those under the comments also. For more tips and tricks, get my new book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com right now.